Hello and welcome. This is the true story of how I got suspended from school for drug pushing. Be sure to stay tuned to the end for the photos of the real people involved along with their thoughts on this whole experience. <laughs> I'll see y'all after. So during my sophomore year of high school, I had taken a study hall period where I would do homework and, you know, sometimes have to listen to the teacher talk about new study methods or whatever the hell he wanted to talk about that day. Well, one day during this class, my teacher had stepped out of the room, right? And my classmate Ebony then turned around and expressed that she was having severe cramps from that one week of every month that Mother Nature just so majestically visits every single last woman and then basically kicks the shit out of her all week because of a little son of a bitch called puberty. Anyways, naturally I reached into my bag and gave her some of the ibuprofen liquid gels that I carried around with me everywhere because I was a track athlete and honestly we popped ibuprofen on the track field after school like it was candy every single last athlete in this building had ibuprofen. Anyways, as soon as Ebony grabs the pills, the teacher walks in. How convenient, right? He immediately asked what I had just passed her and before I could say anything or even have a reaction, and Ebony pipes up and says nothing she gave me nothing just denying the whole interaction so of course from context clues I realized that I had apparently done something wrong and of course the teacher didn't buy anything that she said and pressed the issue again towards me what did you pass her so I just fessed up and told him the truth you know I'm not gonna hide it he then has the gall to give me the most disappointed look and complain about how tough of a spot I've put him in and yada 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 which yeah whatever creeper stash that sounds like a load of shit to me but okay so he rode his high horse out of that room and came back shortly after just before class ended to nobody's surprise the next period at the very beginning of class I got called to the office along with Ebony we were talked to separately so then they told me why I was there which was the whole ibuprofen issue they searched me they found the pill bottle they confiscated the pill bottle and then they sat me down to tell me that I was going to be suspended for three days and they had to come call my mom to pick me up because I was suspended starting right in that moment and I was like, excuse me, what? I mean, I had to make sure this man was serious. But no, he was as serious as a bad case of herpes. I mean, this man was really telling me that I would get a free pass to skip school for the next three days, my dude, including drag practice. Baby, that's a whole motherfucking vacation. I was not stressed, honey. I was not stressed in any way, shape, or form. I just sat back and watched this stupidity unfold. So they call my mom and I can literally hear the confusion on the other end of the line. She thought the whole thing was so stupid, but she came to pick me up anyways. She made it known how stupid the whole situation was before we walked out. And as soon as we got in the car, my mom decided that we were gonna go to Panera and just laugh about the whole thing, which we did. We ended up having a nice lunch. And at the end of it, I, you know, took my punishment and stayed home for three days, didn't go to practice, didn't do much of anything. And Ebony was also suspended for three days. And both of us really did uh, get written down as being suspended for three days for drug pushing. Hi guys, it's Ebony, but I can specifically remember it like it was yesterday. And my take on it is that I think that this teacher was very insecure with his job title. And I think he turned us in just because he wanted to feel like the bigger man on campus. And I remember thinking this back then too. I think that he just needed a reason to feel like a bigger person than what he was. So I just feel like the situation could have been handled a lot better than how it was handled. So the whole thing was the most asinine event that had occurred in Alex's entire school career. And a prime example of small penis syndrome. That's right, small penis syndrome. The administrators and teacher involved, definitely small dicks. So uh, the moral of this story, don't be a twat. I mean, <laughs> people like that teacher just suck. Just don't ever be one of 
those people, okay? And then you'll be good. All right, you guys, so if you like this video, be sure to share it with your family and friends so they can enjoy it as well. Also, be sure to follow this channel so you don't miss any of my news stories. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.